Hello guys, welcome back to the Hypercube build log Hypercube design made by Tech2C. You're looking now at the fully assembled uh, printer. I didn't make a time lapse video about this because it would just cost too much time and I think um, all of Tech2C's videos about the um, building of the plastic parts and attaching the plastic parts to the frame are pretty pretty good. So I'm just giving you a quick overview over the whole build and about some problems I had with the build and maybe some improvements to make in the future. Starting with the X uh, carriage, you have on the back side um, these bearings inside these bronze bushings. They are sliding on these anodized aluminium rods. And the issue here was my old printer wasn't uh, good enough, so the inner diameter didn't came out uh, where it should be. So I had to uh, file out these inner um, bearings to fit those bushings in. Quite a work, but in the end uh, it was precise enough to mount uh, these bronze bushings inside the bearings so it can slide on top of the um, x-axis. Another point I had with, these, with this x-carriage you have to clamp down those belts on the right side with those plastic uh, belt ties, uh, cable ties, but on the left side you uh, initially should just clamp those belts down with these screws and the uh, plastic clamping bridge tech to see design but in my honest opinion it wasn't rigid enough so the belts were moving and coming out so I clamped those belts down with this uh, with these three screws and the initial uh, clamping device he designed and additionally um, tied them down with those cable ties here. This um, in my opinion is much more rigid and will work just as fine. Looking at the front you can see on the right hand my um, inductive sensor we will speak uh, later about and on the left hand you will see uh, the e original E3D V6 hot end I used and the thing here is the cables come out in the front and they're kind of disturbing um, the initial mounting position of the fan which is now on the left side but which isn't a big deal because if you slide it all to the top uh, to the front sorry and then to the left I have to hold the camera kind of Zip. Then you can see that it just fits perfectly and there's even uh, some space left. So not kind of a big deal. Um, there's no, no real way uh, to mount it for me in a different position. Looking at the um, sensor, I will post the sensor in the descriptions below and try to give you a short image of the uh, wiring plan which is on the sensor. Let's see if this camera can focus around here. Maybe you can see it. Um, as I said, I will post the link here below. I ordered this one on Banggood and had quite some problems uh, wiring it up to my uh, RAM board. Um, for this sensor, the brown is the plus, the blue is the uh, ground or minus as you call it and the black one is the uh, signal I have tried to get it to work with 5 volts I have this NPN I think normally open sensor inductive sensor but it doesn't work with 5 volts it worked with a 9 volt uh, battery just for the trials um, but as you have only 12 volts uh, supplied from your uh, RAMS board or from my PSU um, I have to use the 12 volts. The problem I had was 
I followed the instructions I found on the internet, mainly from Tom Sandlander. Um, I think he's making very good videos, but uh, I think my uh, sensor was different from his sensor. Um, initially, I hooked up the plus and the ground to the 12 volt output, and the signal from the sensor I put to the C min signal position on the RAMs. Um, and I made, made this um, resistant bridge um, between the ground and the signal. And this fried my Arduino board. There was a little, uh, a little smoke cloud and I think there's a voltage regulator here which burned down. I removed it because I wanted to see if it still works. But this board is kind of broken and I had to get a new one and then I, I had to try um, all the wirings <laughs> kind of and I made a bridge between the plus and the signal and this worked better you had 6 volts coming out with uh, two 10k resistors but the thing was I hooked it up to the RAM spot and the RAM spot wouldn't trigger it's I think uh, the low signal is below 1.5 volts and the high signal above 3.5 uh, volts and when I tried to measure it, it was always on 6 volts even when the sensor was open or closed, so it couldn't trigger. Um, then I read on the internet that you can directly wire up your sensor without any resistors to your RAM board. Um, so it gave it a shot, um, as brave as I am. Um, I really thought my uh, Arduino would um, burn down again, but it actually didn't. So what I've done now is I connected the plus signal to the uh, the plus uh, to the plus coming out of the 12 volts from my PSU. Then um, I hooked up the ground and the signal to my RAM board in the signal and in the ground uh, pin. Give me a focus, okay. And this actually works. My board, so my RAMs and my Arduino is still alive. Um, I didn't really have to configure anything in the um, in the software. Um, it's, it's triggering. Um, I also have auto bad leveling enabled. So this is working just fine. Um, I would appreciate maybe some electric engineer or somebody who is firm with electronics to explain me, me uh, this behavior because I would uh, suggest that 12 volts coming out of um, the signal or the, or the ground and those 12 volts would kill my Arino, but apparently uh, it doesn't. Um, and I don't really understand as I'm not firm with electronics, but I can't really guarantee you that it will work with your uh, sensor. Um, it just worked with my combination of my sensor and uh, the wiring. So if you like, you can give it a shot. Um, it's kind of easy. You have don't make you don't have to make any resistor bridges or something. So maybe it's working because of the internal resistors of the RAM board. I don't know. Give it a shot. Maybe in the comments, I would appreciate it. Okay. Um, the question in the last video was why did I uh, raise this bar uh, up 10 centimeters from the ground? Well, what I want, uh, wanted to do is to hide the electronics underneath um, this level and close this level with I don't know, plastics or something, um, which initially didn't work because my PSU holder I printed from Thingiverse um, isn't really working. As you can see, there's a gap on the top. Uh, you can really mount it uh, probably to the 20 by 20 extrusions and also the ramps case I printed out isn't really working good um, it's okay for the ramps to cover it but the mounting isn't really good for the 20 by 20 I have to look for another or make an make an make our own one so I also added some foots underneath uh, 40 millimeter foots just for the damping so it won't yeah, make any sounds. Um, and I also added to the bed some LEDs underneath, so I can see when the bed is heating up. 
I think it's a bit dark, but you can see it under here. I have two LEDs mounted in different positions, so one of them would work. Um, I found this on the RepRap for uh, Wikipedia. It's quite uh, good explained. You have to attach them to the board and add a resistor to it. Um, quite an easy job. So I just have to replace the blue tape on top of here and then we're kind of ready to go. Yeah. Last thing I wanted to show you is a bit of the wiring. Um, another issue I had and the, the nice LEDs I added. So the main wiring from the X carriage is going here. I will add something to lift this thing uh, on top so it won't wobble around and get tight maybe on the Z axis or something. I ha have to <laughs> renew this wiring of course, make it clean, but for initial testing it's, it's okay. Um, what I had, what an issue was, um, I had these, these bridges to connect my end stops and my extruder motor and the wiring on this, those cables were wrong. So um, here were here two pins were switched, the green and the blue one, and on the other on the other end they were also switched but in a different position. So my motor <laughs> wouldn't really work. It just was turning, uh, spinning back and forth. The the driver was getting really hot. It took me some time to to find um, this error. The same issue I had with my uh, end stops, this one here and this one here. Um, I think I was just too curious, I was too fast wiring everything up and I made some mistakes. So take your time, um, try to make no errors. Finding the, those errors will take you more time than taking those five minutes uh, for the extra for wiring it up. So the LEDs I added. Um, it's quite easy for me because I have a 5 volt um, output on the PSU and now you can see it around here. I think it's pretty pretty bright so in the dark it will look better. Blue LEDs, 5 volts going down here and attached to the output of the PSU. Quite easy. So the last thing is the wiring. In my case, as said, I have a PSU, so I hooked up the vent of the RAMS case to the 12 volt here, and I hooked up the extruder cooler also in here, which you can uh, obviously hear because it's the loudest part of the printer. I think the hot end is pretty expensive, the EFD V6 but delivers good quality, but I think they could kind of improve maybe uh, the fan. Uh, take another one which is apparently uh, quieter or a bigger one, I don't know. Um, I think this one is pretty pretty loud. I think Tech2C had also this in his video and replaced the printer, uh, the fan. Uh, eventually he crashed his one, but I think I will replace it also in the future. Yeah, as said, this is uh, the wiring for my inductive sensor. Then I have 12 volts coming uh, from my PSU. Here um, is my bed wired up with the RAMs, my fan, my cooling fan for the parts, part cooling fan. Then here uh, extruder heating. Then I have here my left motor, right motor, X and Epsilon, my Z motor, and my extruder motor in here, then my thermistors. Left side is uh, hot end and right side is my bed. And then here the end stops X minimum, epsilon minimum and of course the Z minimum for my inductive sensor. So, that's about everything I wanted to tell you. Um, I have some jobs to do. Um, I've got this <laughs> For my cables to make it look more cleaner and tie everything up. I have an LCD which will be coming in the future um, to hook it up and get it running. 
but before I have to print out something to put it on those profiles and yeah there are tasks for the future so I don't uh, get bored or anything I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions um, or any hints maybe about the set uh, probe why it doesn't burn up my Arrhenio or my RAMs uh, give it a shot in the comments if you liked it press the like button maybe you can subscribe if you like there will be future uh, videos in the future I think and yeah have a good day and I wish you nice printing happy printing